pitcher as the horses head towards the post. 152 and 3 is the track record. Now let's introduce the horses for you. Number one is Gothic Dream from the very powerful Jack Darling stable. Jack, of course, Canada's top trainer last year. Gothic Dream won the North America Cup. Just one of many big races this year. He has lifetime earnings of over one and a half million dollars. He finished second last week, but he was flying through the lane as they were coming down to the wire to DM Dillinger, who won the race. Gothic Dream will have post position number one tonight. He'll have Peter Wren in the bike. He's owned by the Jack Darling Stables Limited and Dan Smith of Windsor and Dorchester. Jack does the training. He has five wins and 22 starts this year for over $877,000. Number 1A is stable partner, and scoring from out of post position number 2 is Northern Luck. This is the colt that is the fastest bred Canadian horse ever, taking a record earlier this year of 149-1. and one. He'll be heading out to stud duty in uh, just a couple months or so, and uh, maybe within the next month he'll be heading out to stud duty. Northern Luck is a 3-year-old colt by Cam Luck, owned by Jack Darling Stables and Dan Smith. Trained by Jack, Kevin Wallace has flown in from Florida to drive Northern Luck. He drove him to victory in the elimination last week, 152-3. and three. Two is Noble Crusader. He'll have post position three. He's owned by the Banjo Farms at Downsview. Finished third, beaten a length and a half. Blair Burgess does the training. Tony Kerwood is in the bike for this Matt Scooter three-year-old. He has over $80,000 in lifetime earnings, 77000 of the 80 was won this year. He has five wins on the season with a lifetime record of 153 and 4 at Maywood Park in Chicago. Number 3 in scoring from post position number 4 is too funny for words. This is a colt by Cam Fella. He is owned by the CSX Stables of Liberty Center, Ohio. He is trained by Bob McIntosh, perennially one of the top trainers in Canada and North America. He has a record of 154 and 1. Steve Condren is in to drive. Number three, too funny for words. Four is Arturo, a three year old colt by Arts Place, owned by Carl Gregg of Pittsburgh. Steve LeBlanc does the training. Dave Pallone is in the bike. He has seven wins this year. He has over 1.1 million in earnings. He had a relatively easy race last week in qualifying. He lost out to Northern Luck by half a length. I think you'll see a different kind of a drive from Arturo this evening. Number five is His Majesty, and he's a Matt Scooter Colt. He was in the cream of the crop last year. This year, he hasn't lived up to his potential. If you believe $157,000 is not to his potential, he's owned by the Matt Duff Group of Orlando. Stu Furlot is famous for getting his horses ready at the end of the season. It's the end of the season. And Doug Brown is in the bike for number five, His Majesty. Six is Village Jasper. He's a three-year-old colt by Jate Lobel. He's won a lot of the major races in Canada, 14 of them in all, over a million dollars in earnings for this Jate Lobel three-year-old, owned by the Wellwood Stables and AFJ Stable of Cambridge and Oshawa. Bill Wellwood does the training. Paul McDonnell is in the bike. Number six, scoring from post position seven, is Village Jasper. Seven is Armbro Peregrine. This is a three-year-old gelding by Jate Lobel, owned by the Lightning Five Stable of New York and the Free Lapine Stable of New Jersey. Whenever you have a Bill Robinson horse entered in a race, you have to beware. Even though he's 40 to 1 on the board, he'll score from post position number eight. Randy Waples will be in the bike, top driver on the jockey club. Eight is DM Dillinger. Looked powerful, absolutely powerful last week, scoring off the rail. Last week, going wire to wire in 152 and 2. He has five wins this year. If he does that again, he'll break the Provincial Cup record. But he has to win to get it. Number nine is Yankee Cam. He'll score from post position number 10. That's in the trailing position. He'll be able to trail behind anybody he wants. He's a Cam fella owned by the Metal A Stable of New Jersey, the Smart Money Stables. LLC of New York. Nancy Corley does the training. Richard Samard, the leading driver here at Windsor, is in the bike. He has a record of 151 and 4. There's six minutes now until post time. You've had a chance to take a look at the horses. In six minutes, they'll be heading to the post. The Provincial Cup field is now moving through the backstretch. And 
and there they go. They're off and pacing. It's Northern Lock charging out to take the lead. Moving up on the outside is Noble Crusader. Down and at the rail is Gothic Dream on the far outside. Comes Village Jasper. He's going after Northern Luck early. Northern Luck on the inside. Village Jasper backed off to get into the hole. Couldn't get there. Noble Crusader closed it up, and there's four lengths back to Gothic Dream. Now he's committed on the outside, taking the lead. It's Village Jasper. Northern Luck relents as they reach the quarter. 26 and 3. Back to the outside comes Northern Luck, and Village Jasper drives on. Northern Luck is on the outside, and he's going back after the lead. Northern Luck regains the lead. Village Jasper is second. Three lengths back. Noble Crusader is third. Out comes Gothic Dream to move first over fourth. Right behind Yankee Cam is fifth. In at the rail. Too funny for words is sixth. Moving up on the outside. His Majesty is seventh. Then it's back to D.M. Dillinger. Arturo trailing the field on the inside. Armbro Peregrine. 55-3 and three to the half. That slowed it down a little as they move around the turn. Northern Luck has the lead. And here comes Gothic Dream. The entry is 1-2 down the back stretch. In at the rail is Village Jack. Jasper and flying up on the outside, not waiting anymore. That's His Majesty charging up, moving right behind. DM Dillinger is getting a second over trip, but he's through wide. They're approaching the three-quarter. Northern Luck on the inside. His Majesty is up second in one, 20, four and three. Here comes the race as they bunch up on the inside. Northern Luck is under urging. His Majesty is coming to him on the outside. Between horses, Gothic Dream is third. On the far outside, DM Dillinger on the extreme outside is Arturo. On through the stretch, Northern Luck by a neck. His Majesty, but look at Arturo on the far outside. Down to the wire, Arturo is up on the outside. He's going to win the 1997 Provincial Cup to Arturo. and driven to victory by Dave Pallone. Arturo picks up his eighth win of the year, goes over $973,000 earnings for the season. Your attention now directed to the winner's enclosure, where Stanley Sadinsky, the chairman of the Ontario Racing Board, is congratulating Dave Pallone, who drove the winner, number four, Arturo, the winner of the Provincial Cup. Arturo picks up his eighth win in 28 starts this year. We'd mentioned in the post parade a little that uh, this horse seemed to have been uh, just biding his time throughout the elimination. And it was going to be a different race for Arturo tonight. And certainly with the fast tractions and the changing of the leads on the front end, it took its toll on the horses near the front of the, uh, the, front of the pack. Arturo, who was sitting coolly at the back of the pack, made his late traditional brush, and he was the one that had the most at the wire, Arturo winning the Provincial Cup. Security on the main floor, you're going to get a shot at the $100,000 following the 13th race. So we are looking for Fred Nixon, Al Costia, and Gary Ferbolta. Kindly go to security on the main floor of the grandstand. Mr. Jacox, you go there as well. You have won the 14th.